Welcome back guys, this is Keith with the Cyber and U team. Today we're going to show you guys how to upgrade an old 2012 MacBook Pro laptop from 8 gigs of RAM to 16 gigs of RAM. We will be replacing the old 4 gig sticks, two of them, with two 8 gig sticks. Now, just to elaborate a little bit on the details of this MacBook Pro, again, it is a mid-2012 13-inch MacBook Pro. It's got a 2.9 gigahertz i7. It's got the mentioned 8 gigs of RAM, DDR3. And in a previous episode, we did actually upgrade the original 700, 750 gigabyte SATA hard disk to a 500 gigabyte SSD. Also, this has the original Intel HD graphics onboard chipset GPU. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at what we got here. All right, so we got the, uh, we got the laptop. Um, I highly recommend this to anybody who is fiddling around with their MacBook Pro or even their desktop, their iMacs. Um, this is called Bat Power. The link is in the description. Um, it's literally made for, um, for Mac Macs. It's got uh, the elusive Pentelope P5 and P6 screwdrivers. Um, it's also got the uh, two millimeter Phillips that we need to take the back off of the MacBook Pro. So very good, useful buy. I think it's about $9 and we will have that link um, to the Amazon product in the description. All right, what we got here, we've got just two eight gig sticks of the Time Tech DDR3 RAM. Um, I believe it's about $40 a stick. Um, if you buy the pair um, in bulk, I guess you could say, um, they shave off about 10 to $15, but we'll also have that link in the description. And these are the sticks we, we will be putting in to replace the old two four gigabyte sticks that's currently um, inside here. So let's go ahead and get started. All right. So on the back panel here, you've got um, four two millimeter um, Phillips screw heads on the back, and then one on each side, and then again four up here, um, totaling ten. So um, we're just going to go ahead and fast forward through this, but we're just going to take off the screws again with our two millimeter um, Phillips screwdriver. All right, guys, we're back. We've successfully removed the back case panel to the MacBook Pro, and we actually flipped the MacBook around just so you guys can get a better angle of where the two RAM modules um, reside. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove these two old four gigabyte sticks and replace them with these beautiful eight gig time tech sticks. So we'll go ahead and show you how to do that real quick. So there's two, um, I guess you could say levers on the sides here. And you're basically just gonna apply pressure so that the RAM modules pop up and then we're gonna just remove them. And hopefully that goes rather smooth. So let's go ahead and do that. Again, right here, just pull them to the, to the left and right and First one's already popped up. Just gonna pull that right out. Do that one more time with the bottom one. There you go. It has popped up. And this one might be a little bit more difficult to pull out. So you guys can watch me fumble around with it. I mean, I guess if you're replacing it, you don't have to be afraid to manhandle it, but if you do want to keep those, maybe be a little bit more gentle. All right. We've got the four gig, or sorry, eight gig stick here. Go ahead and place that in the bottom slot. All right, once you get it in there, you just push it down and it locks in place. 
Again, I'm gonna put the second one in here, just like this. Maybe. There we go. All right, so we got that second one in there and we pushed that back down. And that's really it, guys. Um, we're gonna put the back panel on and you guys can watch that in uh, fast motion if you'd like, but um, you're done. You've successfully replaced um, and upgraded your RAM in an old MacBook Pro. If you guys are interested in learning how we replaced the original hard disk with this Crucial SSD, there is a link in the video. Um, we do recommend that you watch the Time Machine tutorial on how to create a backup so that once you uh, replace your original hard drive with this new SSD that you guys can quickly um, get up and running by simply restoring from your, uh, your original operating system. And we'll also link the video for the uh, restoration as well. All right, guys, uh, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, um, please give us a like and a subscribe. We would greatly appreciate any support. All right, thank you.